The Mid-America Gospel Music Association Lifetime Achievement Award is presented each year to the person or persons who have influenced the growth and promotion of Southern, country, and bluegrass gospel music. This award is designed to honor those who have dedicated a significant portion of their life to the field of gospel music, either as a singer, musician, songwriter, radio personality, or promoter. The general membership of MAGMA submits nominations of those within the industry who have been influential in their careers, and they are later voted on by the board of directors. We seek to honor both the local artist who has influenced and mentored the new generation of performers, as well as those from our region whose music has impacted the national gospel music industry. It is our pleasure to be able to honor those pioneers who have and still are representing the ministry of gospel music. Tonight's second Lifetime Achievement Award winner has blessed the lives of many, not only as a musician and singer, but as a mentor. It is with great pleasure that we recognize this ambassador of bluegrass gospel music, Mr. Barry Jones. Oh, Adam, where are you? Adam came out from hiding. In fear he stood a trembling. God said unto Adam, what did you do? Barry Jones was born in 1941 the ninth child of 14 to William and Emma Jones of Graniteville, Missouri. Barry's interest in music started at a very early age. When he was 12 years old, his parents got him his first guitar. Even at such an early age, God's plan for Barry was starting to take form. At the age of 15, Barry got his first hands-on experience performing in front of an audience with his older brother, Jim. It was during this time that Barry learned the fundamentals of managing music professionally. Jim helped Barry to learn the lead guitar as they performed in honky-tonks all over the state of Missouri. Barry would play lead guitar for Jim, but in his spare time he was picking up the banjo every chance he got. While this period of time was fun for Barry, it still lacked that special fulfillment that he was looking for. Sometime around the age of 19, Barry was offered a job playing banjo in a band. Barry seized this opportunity, leaving his brother's band and playing for Ron and Leona Williams' Opry Jubilee. Barry's skillful banjo playing was receiving recognition on a larger scale as he played county fairs, festivals, TV shows, and radio. At the age of 21, Barry reached the pivotal point in his life. He was empty inside and knew that he was missing something. Barry had stopped playing banjo for Ron and Leona Williams and was searching for something to fill the void that he felt in his life. In desperation on his job at Hayward Granite Company, Barry knelt in a drift of snow and committed his life to Jesus Christ. He finally found what he had been searching for. Barry was receiving calls to work for various well-known artists. He turned down a home in Nashville and the opportunity to tour with Loretta Lynn. He had already given his life to the gospel and wouldn't look back. In 1967, he married the love of his life, Linda Miller from Annapolis, Missouri. Barry was preaching and singing in churches, hospitals and nursing homes, and even sold his first banjo to purchase a new piano for the church he attended. Barry and Linda started a local radio program on KPIA in Ironton. Their son Calvin was just learning to play guitar, so they called upon their friends Bill and Joy Steininger from Fredericktown, and they formed the group The Ozark Gospel Travelers, the songs were original with a blend of bluegrass and country gospel styles. Both Barry and Bill had much in common with their backgrounds. The alliance formed with Bill and Joy's musical talents was just what was needed to birth the music ministry that would become the Barry Jones family. I once was a seeker in times that are past. Their radio program was a huge success locally and became the longest running show on KPIA. Beginning as only a 15-minute program at the group's expense, it was extended to 30 minutes and became a free public service to the community for nine years. Through the years, the group changed names and members. Barry's group changed their name to the Ozark Christian Troubadours in 1979 as Calvin came in full swing. 
They also received help from Steve Huffman of the Singing Huffman family on banjo and vocals. It was sometime around 1987 when Barry saw the group consisting of his entire family, Linda, Calvin, Sandra, and Anita, and their name was changed to the Barry Jones family. In 2002, Barry was honored when he was presented a plaque by MAGMA member and friend Carol Sanguinette Howe at the family's 25th anniversary concert. The plaque was a proclamation by the Missouri Senate 91st General Assembly for 25 years of musical excellence. Barry and his family have been singing the gospel for over 30 years, have recorded several albums, and opened for many big names in the music industry. Bill Monroe, Doyle Lawson, Rhonda Vincent, and the Primitive Quartet, to name a few. With grandkids now joining in, Barry's lifelong dream to have his own musical group has definitely come to fruition above and beyond his wildest dreams. Quoting Barry, when I get to heaven, I believe the Lord will hand me the most beautiful golden banjo that's ever been seen by human eye, and I want to sit at Jesus' feet and play How Great Thou Art. Please join our Magma family as we recognize a legendary bluegrass giant, Barry Jones. God said unto Adam, what did you do? You've got to come clean. 